Hello. Oh, it's good to see you guys. <laughs> the last time we actually had an interview, I believe it was like, you know, your modeling, your shows, your TV stuff. Yeah, um, it was right when I started working a little bit in TV. Oh yeah. Gosh, so much yeah, since I, so much has happened since then, you guys. I know, but the most incredible thing is this song, Stay Crazy. I mean, that's amazing. What first of all, what made you decide to sing? What I mean and, and uh, make a song, an album. You have yeah. a great voice, by the way. Yeah, you Thank do. You, you have, I, have a great I voice. love the song. I was just I had to listen to it a couple of we are always Bye. dancing to it over here. Um, yeah, yeah I was know, dancing to it last night. The great thing about music is it's timeless. I mean, the music itself can kind of shift in what's hot and what's not, but it's You're timeless. Right and, you know, it like is. my kids and my grandkids will be able to listen to my song. And But what made you decide not only to sing, but also for mental health? I mean, this song has a lot to do with that. It does, yeah. So Stay Crazy, it comes out on May 1st, and that is to kick off Mental Health Awareness Month. I decided to make a song for everybody, and mental health is something that I've always struggled with. I've always been a big advocate for it. So It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. It's a crisis. And I started you know, going to different websites. I did research on different illnesses, and one that really stuck out to me was bipolar disorder. People with bipolar, they experience the highs of the highs and the extreme lows of the lows. So I liked that kind of contrast and I wanted my first verse to kind of paint a picture of that depression and the second verse to kind of paint that manic state. I wrote the song just to remind us that to not take the good times for granted, but also not to take the bad times too hard because life is just a constant waves, it's a constant wave of ups and downs. You know, I've never properly been diagnosed with a mental illness, but I definitely suffer from depression and anxiety at times. And I think we all can attest to the feeling of, you know, we all have those days when we just wake up and can't physically get out of bed because you're feeling so down in the you, dumps. I have to tell you, during this quarantine, during this entire time period with COVID, a lot of people are very anxious, very depressed, because they're frightened also. And right. I have to be, even myself, I find myself some days I can't get out of bed. And that's why I'm so happy that we're talking to you about this, because just listening to your song and seeing the words, right, you know, flashing on the screen and seeing what they mean, it was just, yeah. it was a little bit of happy right there. Good. And I think that's so awesome that you're kicking off Mental Health Awareness Month with that stay crazy song because it will inspire people my right. mother was bipolar and we grew up my sisters and i grew up in a household with this manic mother who was constantly up and down we didn't know what was wrong with her she only was diagnosed later wow. on in life Great. so but her version of bipolar disorder and someone else's version of bipolar disorder can be different it depends on the chemical makeup in your brain but exactly all in all it it adds to mental health awareness. So right. that's fantastic that you've taken such, you know, taken it and you're doing something to possibly help people. And that, that's an amazing thing.